Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another beautiful Monday morning with me, Subi Shaves. And today, guys, we're going to be doing a BBS battle. We're going to see which razor rocks and knocks the stubble down better. All right, that's what we're doing. And this has been a common discussion, okay? This has been something that I have uh, kind of gone back and forth with several shavers about. We're going to be talking about Weef's Thorn Razor, guys. This, for me, is in copper. This is absolutely my number one favorite razor in the modern era, okay? In modern era, if you were to put this against anything else that uses a half stacked or not stacked DE razor blade, guys, where you snap the blade in half, this is my all-time favorite. It's small, it is very agile, it is very efficient, and this is the Thorn Razor. I wanted to mention that because the Thorn and the Twig are different, okay? This is the Thorn Razor, and we're gonna talk a little bit about what the Thorn's you know, good for and why I prefer it over the Twig. It's, it's battle, it's, it's uh, opponent for today, guys, is gonna be the Yaki, or Yachi, which, however you wanna pronounce it. This is the Katana, guys. This is another razor that uses a half snapped DE razor blade. To give you guys some profile, um, pro sorry about that, some profile uh, comparisons here. Here's the head of the Yachi or Yaki Katana compared to the leaf. And you can see the leaf thorn. You can see that the head on this Yachi rat, um, Katana is definitely larger. It has a bigger footprint than the leaf thorn. And you do definitely notice the difference. That little bit of extra overhang on the back does come into play. For your guys' reference, I do not have a handle for this. I got the head for free on AliExpress. Um, it was $9 and I had a $10 gift certificate. So I didn't get the handle. So this is gonna be using the Henson TI-22 handle. It is my favorite handle in the three-piece industry right now. It's tapered. Um, all together, guys, this weighs 61 grams and is just over four inches long. Okay, my pinky finger fits nice and comfortably. The twig, for comparison, is it just just barely four inches, like exactly four inches, but it's not full four inches of usable space, but you can still get your pinky there. It is 69 grams, guys. 69 grams! And before we go further than this, if you guys are new and you're excited about this battle, please go below, give me a sub, give me a comment, and let me know you're enjoying the content. And if you guys are not new, sit back and enjoy. We're gonna knock this shave out, and it's gonna be awesome. Today, because it's a battle, guys, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an opponent, you, know, you guys got gladiators, the shaving gladiators, because I'm not gonna lie to you, I love both of these razors, guys. I love them both. So if we're gonna put two of my favorite razors up against each other, we're gonna rock Daenerys from Holy Cough, right? It's leather, it is man smell, it is super masculine, and to me, guys, it's like a, it's a musky leather scent. It, to me, it's not the soft, warm leather, okay? This isn't sitting inside your BMW, oh no. No, this is like worn belt kind of smell. You know that smell that's been, it, it's seen some things? This is that kind of leather. And you can see it's dark, dark brown, guys. And that lather it generates is definitely a, a creamier, darker brown color. So you want to make sure you're using a brush that if you're okay, it's going to stain. I didn't realize that, but boar tends to have that yellow color anyway. So I am rocking the very first brush I ever owned. This is the 1098, super fancy, ultra nice, ultra expensive, $8 <laughs> brush from Omega, guys. And it whips up a lather as good as any of my other brushes. Honestly, it's a, look at this. Look how good this Holy Call lather is. Oh, I can't wait to use this. And honestly, honestly, guys, I, I, I preach it here. You don't have to have the best, most expensive, most beautiful brush in the industry to be able to wet shave. This, this will do just, just, the, just the trick. And I like this. The bore is also um, sustainable. It is a, a cruelty-free product, which I, I really support. And it doesn't create plastic or emissions to create. The biggest issue we have with bore is that it usually comes with a smell, guys. So when you buy yours, if it has a horrible order, just you need to soak it. You need to do the shampoo trick. There's a lot of different methods, but you just got to get that smell out, and they're fantastic. We're going to pair that, guys, with Mammoth. This is almond leather. And I think it goes really nicely with Daenerys. I, I think it's a perfect match. Yeah, I just think I like the balm aspect of this a little bit better today for my skin. I just want a little bit more soothing feeling on my skin. So we're going to go with almond leather and Daenerys for a battle to see which razor really is knocking it down. And again, I wanted to mention this because I feel like this is commonly asked, all right? How do you separate the leaf twig versus the leaf thorn? I have both in my hands. As you can hear, I'm clanking them around. 
I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna show you guys how you can tell if yours is which one. You see this one right here. This is the thorn, guys. And you see that little teeny tiny nubbin right in the middle there. This right here is the prism twig. And you'll notice it doesn't have that said little nubbin in the middle. This one does. See that little, little raised edge in the middle? This one doesn't have. Again, we're gonna use this to point it out here. It is right here, underneath the magnets, and underneath the magnets, it doesn't have it. So the Twig, guys, is a much more mild, much less efficient razor. This razor was developed really for people, okay, that were not accustomed to wet shaving. I think that's the misconception, the thing people are not understanding when it comes to the Twig. It was developed by Leaf for people, keep in mind their customer base is people that have never wet shaved before, right? It's really developed for people that are first getting their hands on a non on a fixed head razor, okay? So you get these people that are getting their hands on a fixed head razor and they're gonna go at it like they do their leaf. And I think that was the concern for leaf is that they knew their customer base so well that they released a razor that was gonna be forgiving, okay? This is like training wheels safety razor, guys. A lot of the guys I've met that don't like this razor, it's because it doesn't have enough efficiency. They're like, well, I don't like the twig. It doesn't, doesn't not knock down hair for me. And guys, you have to understand the twig was never really designed to be a workhorse. It can be. You can make it that way. I have shown you can do it, but it's gonna take more. It's gonna take more um, passes. It's gonna take more effort. It's an absolutely beautiful razor, and it's the one that my wife prefers. She doesn't like the thorn. She doesn't like the blade filter the thorn. She doesn't need the efficiency for her legs. This matches her needs perfectly, and I think that's the difference. I think that's why Henson, Peon companies like Henson are releasing three different variants. That's why Rockwell has three all the different plates. Right, different variant variants in efficiency is important, and knowing which one's going to fit you best is important. Okay, and that's where my, my one slant against this katana to start is. You have one razor, guys. They don't have three different ver variants of the katana. And when I bought the katana, I was kind of worried. I was like, well, it's only got like this. It's in a seven, right? They put it at a seven. This is a medium efficiency, medium aggressive razor, and I think that is fine for people that know what they're getting into, especially wet shavers that have been doing this for a long time. If I were to give this to my wife, it would be much more intimidating than the twig, okay? Kind of keep your apples to apples. That's what I was trying to explain, apples to apples. So when I first experienced a twig, and I'm gonna be fully honest here on, on set, guys, or on, right here with you guys. The first time I held this razor, I was sitting next to Adam, okay? This razor in my hand, he handed this to me and said, put that in your skin, tell me what you think. And I could instantly feel from the way that this angles right here, you can feel how much there's more blade gap. I could feel it. And I knew from from the moment it touched my skin, I was like, I'm gonna like that more because it's gonna have more of that standard safety razor feel to it. I, I That's what it is, guys. That's what it is. And I love this razor. Like I said, my favorite modern razor is the Leaf Thorn. And I love the copper. You guys, come on. The finish on these razors are beautiful. Look, look at the, just look at the copper elegant finish. I just think the copper is fire. I think the prism is fire. <laughs> I love the Mercury. They don't make a bad finish. And with the Katana, I think you have two finishes available. Keep in mind, guys, these are both a Z-Mac product. Both of these are Z-Mac. This one right here is coated in, I, I think they're, I, I, I've owned both. I've owned the Gunmetal and the Chrome, or their Satin Chrome, whatever they're calling it now. And this is the Copper Leaf, guys. But again, they have like 10 finishes. Um, or Copper Thorn, excuse me. Copper Leaf Thorn. And for me... You just you start looking at money value at this point, right? You're saying, okay, well, let's, let's look at the money value. I got this head for free. It's $10. The whole thing, if you bought the whole razor, $30 versus the $60, $55, $60. If you use the coupon below, guys, in my affiliate links, it'll get you a discount on the, on the thorn to kind of help the channel out a little bit. But this one is going to be cheaper, okay? It also has the modular aspect to it, okay? A lot of people mention they like the ability to change the handle. They're not stuck with one handle. Uh, as you can see, I've done the Henson handle. It's a three-piece razor design. Because it's a three-piece razor design, it also comes with the kind of the caveat that you have to load it like a three-piece razor design, right? With the leaf, very easy. You just put your blade in there. It's got the magnets holding it in place. It's no fiddling. This, you guys can see, and I wanted to show this, the Katana, guys, does not really have like any way, like any blade holders down here. It doesn't have any... Um, you get what I'm saying here. There's, there's not really a way for it to secure a blade up front. And then in the in the actual razor that's going to be clipping it down, you can see these little tiny 
I mean, it's, it's, it's actually ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Here we go. You guys see those little teeny tiny nubs up front. That is the only thing that secures your DE blade in place as you're trying to load it because they are so small the blade inevitably shifts. You have to pay attention when loading blades. So let's do that. Let's do a blade load and compare blade load ease. Um, I'm gonna take my Permasharp blades. I have two different Permasharp blades and we're going to snap them, guys. It's just snapping and snapping and snipping. Um, just like this. Done. Easy, you guys see that? I just did it in the paper. And that is the uh, Gillette Permasharps right here. I love these blades and Leaf sells them uh, as uh, pre-cuts. You can buy their blades. There's other companies like Shark and Lord. They also offer pre-cut razor blades. If you don't want to snap them and you want to just have the uh, blade pre-made, they're called saloon blades, if you guys were curious. If you look up saloon uh, DE razor blades, you will find pre-cut so you don't have to snap them. I don't mind snapping them and I like the ability. It's usually a little cheaper, right? Because you get both halves with, the one, with one razor. So you're only paying for one razor blade, whereas the others you're paying for two, kind of. It's a much cheaper endeavor to buy them pre-cut or uncut. Then we just take this razor or this uh, these, these blades that I've stacked together. And again, I'm stacking them together, guys, because I like the efficiency and I like the fill and the rigidity of them on my skin. If you're new here and you've not seen me do that, that is why I'm doing it. And we're just going to stack those blades right into the thorn. You see how easy that was? Here it is. The Subi Shaves, number one reason he loves this razor. I'm a clumsy dude, guys. I am moving around a lot. I'm animated. <laughs> this is two blades stacked on top of each other. Magnet goes through both of them. Oh, sneezy snazz. Right? And it's not moving, guys. You see how nice and secure that is? Number one, first reason I love the twig is it's a single unibody piece razor that I am not fiddling around with. You don't have to cut the tabs of it. You don't have to um, really pay that much attention after you've loaded it because the magnets really do a good job at securing your razor blades. I love this. I think that's phenomenal. The moment I saw it, I was like, well, that's remodernized. That's, you know, reimagined and modernized. That's really taking the concept of a three-piece design, even the Seagal design, and implementing more of uh, more safety features on top of it, right? It's a better mousetrap for me. I love the angle of the head too. If you guys notice, the head is angled. So you're getting this very natural shave. Whereas the katana, you are angling it like you would a standard DE razor. Let's load the katana now. We're gonna to to do the same process. We're gonna snap our permasharp blades. Very easy guys, very easy. It's, you saw it's not dangerous, it's not scary. It's very easy to do. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna load two DE razors in here guys. Two DE razors. And I'm doing this again, not only for apples to apples, okay? Not only for apples to apples, but I like the way it fills. Loading this is going to be a pain, so bear with me. It's going to be a pain. Every time I do this, it's a pain in the butt. Oh, it just feels like it's going to be a pain in the butt. I can already tell it's going to just fight me the entire time. Okay, don't, don't, don't move around on me, please. So there is, you see how those little tabs up front are supposed to hold the blade in place, guys? They really don't do a great job. So I'm going to show you a trick that I've been doing. And that's two blades in there, guys. That's two blades in the head cap. What I've been doing is I kind of set the blades like this, and then I take the base plate, and I just slide the base plate in, and I allow gravity to hold the blades in place. And not even gravity has enough power to keep the blades in place. So I, then I have to go in and kind of push them in to make sure that they're nice and seated. That is, I have to do that or else I don't get a good load. And then I put on, I'm adding a little spacer. Again, the reason I'm doing this, guys, I'm going to show you guys, actually, because this annoys the heck out of me. The heck, the heck, darn it, dang it. Come on, you little, there we go. Um, this annoys the ever-living tar out of me. You see where that wear line is? When I'm taking my handle on and off, it's actually worn through that coating and rusting. Um, it's just, I know eventually this, this product will die because of that wear mark. So what I do now is I've been adding that little um, gasket to try to prevent wearing from handles being put on there. But just so you guys are aware, because it is a ZMAC coated product, you are gonna get that ZMAC to come through eventually. It's kind of, it's just what it is. And that you're not gonna have that wear mark with the, twi with the thorn. There's no wearing on the thorn, right? So that's, that's just one mark kind of against the katana. It's, it annoys me. 
annoys me that a product like this um, is going to get that wear inevitably, regardless of what you do and how you try to prevent it. And like I said, I do uh, try to prevent it using the little... Um, sorry, I'm just getting my blade lined up. The, the blade fights me with this razor every time. There we go. Every time I do this, it doesn't matter if I do one blade or two blades, I get shift and movement. And what, they'll, what they don't tell you is if this blade is not lined up perfectly flush, it's going to shave really crappy. So just make sure when you're loading it that you are paying a ton of attention, guys, and that everything looks nice and straight and level. Man, I'm telling you, it just doesn't look level to me. Uh, that that bothers me that a product that's brand new, right? This is not something that is that should be uh, difficult to use or load, and it really is kind of a fiddly. I'm just gonna grab whatever I had closest to me to push these blades back a little bit more. There we go. I hope. Yeah, it's that's my one, my first biggest complaint. And because it's so, those blade tabs really don't do anything, you can put an injector very easily into this. And I do like it with an injector quite a bit more because the blade's thicker and it seems to slide in place a little bit better. You just set them on top of the tabs. You just say, you know what? We don't care about you tabs. There you guys go. Finally straight. Let's get a shave on. I know it's really annoying. I'm sorry for that. Both of these razors, guys, considering uh, this one's way easier to load. This razor right here is like a six or seven. And in my opinion, this is like a six or seven efficiency. This is like a three and fill, three or four. And this is like a four or five. Okay, so this does feel more aggressive. A lot more blade fill out of this one than the Thorn. If you like blade fill, that may be a plus for you. If you don't like blade fill, that may be a negative. Um, we're just gonna go straight on. And I wanted to grab my Cremo, guys. This is the Sandalwood Cremo. I thought this is the Sandalwood would be nice. And we're just gonna do a head shave today. Just a head shave because the guys that I've been talking to, have been doing head shaves and they are comparing the twig trying to use the twig for the full head shave versus the katana for the full head shave and i think that's really the the disconnect the non-apples to apple situation right because the thorn really really does a great job on a head shave and i want to prove that i want to show that again and i've done um twig versus thorn and i've shown kind of the differences there and i think you know coming from the wet shaving world personally I really see why both are applicable because in most of people's favorite razors, right? They have varying levels of aggression. You have different options. And I feel like a lot of people are buying the wrong level of aggression for what they're trying to use the razor for. My opinion, my personal opinion. And for a while, Leaf didn't have two models. So it was kind of all you had. Um, I was lucky enough to interact with Leaf right? Because I, I I just love the product. I love talking about the product. And they were like, what do you guys, what would you think of a more aggressive version? And I was like, oh, abs absolutely. Ab that's exactly what I would want. So for me, I've, I've had the, the thorn for almost as long as I've had the um, the twig. And for me, I, I just get really good shaves with the, the thorn. I, I, I swear by it. It's my, my go-to razor. And the way I, I like to shave with this guy is I go um, with the grain. And I've been telling Adam from Leaf, who's one of the co-founders, that I would love to raise him <laughs> with, uh, he wants to, uh, with, he can use the Leaf and I want to raise him to BBS, guys. I want to raise him to BBS where he uses, he uses the Leaf and I use the Thorn because I believe I can outspeed and outshave Adam with his uh, Leaf. That's the kind of, uh, comfort I get out of this razor. And that is a two pass right there, kind of. I mean, I, I did across the grain and with the grain really quick. And the fact that people are saying it doesn't knock down stubble blows me away. I do want to mention, guys, that this razor is a more advanced razor, okay? I feel like the people that have used this razor have really gone from never picking up uh, like an actual safety razor to this one, and that's totally fine, but you have to understand it's it's a different experience and it requires a little bit of form. It does require a little bit of uh, practice and it does have blade fill, right? There is blade fill and there is efficiency. And if you go into it and you, you start pressing and doing things you shouldn't, or maybe even going against the grain too soon, right? If you just go into it with an against the grain, 
you may end up with really bad irritation or cuts from the razor trying to chatter through the stubble. You want to maintain good form, guys. But you saw me yesterday, I used the, the ABC razor, guys. And you saw how kind of cautious I was and careful and how this razor, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not like, I'm not scared of this. Like I said, the handle really lends itself to a good shaving angle and I can feel exactly where that blade is. But at the same time, it doesn't feel scary and it doesn't feel anything like that other, I'm, I'm done, I'm BBS, perfectly BBS. And I can do my whole head that fast. I didn't because we were doing the other half with the katana, but I can do my whole head. I don't know how fast it is. I think it's about five minutes and it's perfectly BBS. There is no stubble on my head anywhere on that side. I love this. I, I honestly, I swear to you guys, I, there's not a product that I have used in the modern world that I like more than Leaf's Thorn. And I will swear by that. I will, I, there, I will take a lie detector test. I will do whatever you guys want. Look how good this is. It's so freaking good that it shouldn't be allowed. I mean, the only downside to this razor, guys, is when I use it, my wet shave only lasts like seven minutes, right? I, I can do the whole entire head, face, everything in about seven minutes. And so I don't get to enjoy it as much. Like, you know, that ABC, it took me a little longer. So I got to enjoy my soap a little more. This, you know, <laughs> just slides across the skin and you're BBS. And the BBS, guys, I want to mention this. It lasts all day. It's 15 hours. It's as good as my R41 as far as how long this shave lasts. Because we talk about that closeness and comfort, right? That matters to me. And not the closeness you get right afterward. We're talking 10 hours later, right? I'm going to re-lather up for the other side. And guys, I'm telling you that I, I get 10, 14 hours with the, the thorn. And I, compared with the twig guys, I got like 10 hours. So it is definitely a difference. And the thorn I have, or the twig, I have to do a full extra pass and clean up that I don't have to do with the thorn. Twig, clean up, thorn, no cleanup, no work, no effort. And you guys saw I was able to get this spot right here, right? Watch this, watch how like easy, like you see how they have a little bit right there? You see how easy it is to get that one spot? And this is really what this razor was designed for. That one spot right there. Getting, how about right here, guys? How many of you have problems right here? It's literally, it feels like it was created. It feels like it was designed specifically for that spot. And I know for a fact, <laughs> that's part of the reason it was designed. Because there was a lot of, of issues with the leaf not fitting in that one spot right here for head shavers. So it's really, it was designed kind of as the, the um, the pinpoint razor, right? The accurate razor. And for me, I not only get an accurate razor, but I get just a monster of a shave. Look how good this shave is. Yeah, let's see, let's see how it compares. Okay, so this is the Yachi Katana with a Henson handle, which I believe is the best handle on the market right now for three pieces. And you guys see instantaneously, look at the, look at the stroke. Look how good that stroke is. It is extremely efficient. There is more blade fill to it, but it is definitely, definitely a good shave. No argument about that whatsoever, guys. The absolutely monster, monster mode shape. Again, you come down with the grade. Can, can you guys hear that? There's a little bit more the um, a little bit more feedback to this razor. Um, just a little bit more audible feedback than the twig. So if you like audible feedback, you may like that more or less. Kind of, that's more of a preference thing. But I can actually hear it knocking stubble down, which is different. Again, this allows you to use any size handle you want because it is a three piece. So you may, some people may really like that. Some people may not. It's again, use zero pressure guys. Any more than zero pressure and the Katana will leave you without skin for sure. So we are at two passes right now. I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup on the, my trouble spots. But this is easy for me, right? This is a razor that is easy to use. I want to show you guys the. You can see the efficiency, maybe not quite as good. I don't know. They're 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 really close as far as how it feels on the skin. I mean, like I said, six or seven versus five or six. It's very close as how it feels on the skin, and it's very close as how it feels as far as the BBS. 
The longevity of the shave, guys, is pretty darn similar. It's like a, like a 13, 14 hour shave for me with this razor. And it never leaves you with irritation because I know not to press. This is against the grain, guys, and it is absolutely mowing it down. But I am having to use that standard DE head angle, okay? I am having to put it to the skin and then adjust. So if you're used to that DE angle, guys, you guys can hear it just knocking it down. So if you're used to that DE angle, this may be a more, I don't know, just a more familiar experience for you. But I don't feel like you need to have the DE experience to be able to use the thorn, whereas you kind of need the DE experience to know how to use the katana. Does that make sense? I feel like part of the, the community that's really embraced the katana is a community that loves, um, that love DE razors, but maybe wants to use only half of one, wants to make it more econ you know, economical, or are like me, who got sick and tired of cutting their head and so they switched. And what I'm gonna do, guys, I have an idea here. I used to do this a lot with my Broman, okay? I have a Broman, and what I would do is I would do a full pass with the, I do the, the whole shave with the Broman, okay? And then I would do a accompanying shave on top of that, just like one pass really quick, with the thorn or whatever I was comparing to see if I could get a closer shave, see if I could get any stubble to come off, if that makes sense. And so I think what I'll do is I'll run my um, thorn over my head to show you guys the stubble that I can get off or can't get off. Because these are very, very, in my opinion, they're very similar. Again, I have a little harder time getting right here. See how I had to pull my ear way down to get that spot? I don't have to do that with the, with the twig. That extra inch makes a big difference in getting around my ears. But I am, um, in my opinion, this is as good as I ever get with a katana. This is absolutely BBS quality. Free guys, free mind you, free, completely free. It can use an injector without any mods. You can just put an injector right into it and shave. I've done it several times, like, like dozens of times. And I actually like it better with the injector personally, but that wouldn't have been apples to apples today. We're trying to keep it as apples to apples as possible. Okay, we're just gonna wipe it off and we're gonna add some water. You guys can see no irritation whatsoever. Very good head shave. And like I said, the, the katana is much cheaper, right? Uh, it's like 30 bucks versus the Weaves 50, 55, 60, depending on you know what you're buying, if you're gonna buy the, the whole kit, whatever you're doing. But it's a good money value product, in my opinion. The difference for me is in loading consistency and convenience, right? I think that's where Leaf really hits their stride is it's a convenience product, guys. It's really a product that is designed for the person that doesn't want to fiddle and fuss and fight and deal with their shave like that. So my wife fits that demographic perfectly, all right? She gets in the tub, she doesn't want to be filling around with three pieces and trying to figure it out and slipping around. She wants to just put it in, have the magnet hold it in place and shave. And for her, that makes more sense. She likes the, the convenience product. Um, I'm the same way. I, when I'm, Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really love the convenience product here. I really do. Okay, this is we're just gonna do this really quick and see if I can't get any more stubble. This side it feels so nice. There is no fill on my skin whatsoever. It feels just absolutely beautiful. Yep, absolutely BBS. Like I said, I can do the whole entire head shave like this against the grain or do it. I can do the full three pass, you know, the width, the cross and the against in about five minutes with this. Cause you just set that blade down or set the head down and you don't ever have to worry about it. And get in and we're just going against the grain really quick. I'm getting a little bit of cutting. You can hear it. Just a bit on this side. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't even know if you guys can see this. It's very minuscule, very small little specks. Just just right here where I had a harder time I could fill, where I had a harder time getting 
the razor blade or the head of the razor closer to this spot right here. I can actually feel that it's not, well, it's close now, but it wasn't close. Yep, right there. I have a hard time with the katana right in that one spot because it's a little bit bigger. Other than that one spot, guys, we only had a little bit of stubble come off. Only a little bit. And that's it. That's the whole shave. Compare them. Talk about them. Let me know what you guys think. In my opinion, I like the convenience of the Leaf product. I feel like the Leaf product is, uh, it's just the modernization. It's the, it's the, it's the razor that if you don't want to have to deal with all that stuff that comes with the Katana, that may be your choice. And again, I've heard people say it does not shave as good, right? The, the twig, guys, is not going to shave as good as the Katana. They are different levels of aggression, way different levels of blade exposure. Look at the blade exposure on this and tell me that's similar to your uh, twig because it's not, especially the gap. The gap on this razor is much more substantial than the um, twigs. But if you look at this, they're much, much more similar. Okay, let's hold them up next to each other now. Okay, you guys get an idea? They're very similar as far as blade exposure and um, gap. I can't really show you gap very well with, uh, side by side. Just because you're gonna have to take my word for it. It's, they're very similar in all respects. I haven't tried to get them the same weight approximately the same weight so you guys can see side by side apples the freaking apples who wins the head shape and guys i'm telling you i don't think i don't think either of them really pulls ahead on the shape the twig was able to get closer here but that's what it was designed for um i can go faster with the twig i don't are the thorn does that count for something i feel like if you're looking at it at a money value the katana is a better purchase but that's really where it ends. I feel like the shape quality is better on the thorn side. I feel like the feedback's better on the thorn side. I feel like loading is so much easier on the thorn side. And on top of that, I like the aesthetic of the thorn and I like the unibody style. It's a personal thing and I like the weight of the thorn. I think the 69 grams, the way it's been loaded and the way it's, it forces up, I think it's really nice. In my opinion, I don't think there's a better razor on the market today that takes half a single edge DE blade that will beat and outshine on the thorn currently. My opinion, just my opinion in the matter, and that includes their own leaf. I will fight this. I will take on any leaf because I feel like this shave is much, much better, much faster, much easier. Guys, that's Subi Shave's opinions. I hope you had an awesome time being here for the comparison video. Um, I'd love to do more of these. I have a bunch of these single edge razors that use the half DE razor blade. If that interests you, I'd be happy to do more of these. You guys rock. Thanks so much for being here for this. Team Leaf has to take the win on this one, guys. Um, you guys saw it. You saw why, and you saw it, you heard why. Thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome Monday. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye, guys.